So this is going to be part two of how to fix audio and video sync issues in your live stream in OBS. Hey folks, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So um, I wanted to do this as a second video, but it was kind of interesting. I had a um, follower on the, well, a member of the For Me Facebook media group actually proposed this question. So I'm like, thank you. Um, God, I guess that's what I'm going to be making a video about today. And they, um, his name is Harold, and he sent me a video asking me to evaluate their live stream because he was having some issues with it. So what I'm going to do is let me cut over to the computer here so y'all can see what I'm seeing. All right, so I'm here on their video, and I'm going to play this here, and I'm going to keep this I'm recording this, the sound, you're getting it exactly the way it is. So hopefully you can notice what's going on. All right, so what's happening is the audio is coming faster than the video. Now, um, I'm going to see if I can get one that's kind of easier for you to notice. Let me get here while I'm assuming this is the pastor. And I'm going to try and do the same thing here so you can see. If God said healing is coming into your mind today, what are you going to say? If God said financial breakthrough is for you today, what are you going to say? If God said I'm going to turn everything around in your life, what are you going to say? I don't know if you're sitting next to the right person, but just tell them I came to tell God yes today. Yeah. Oh, God, I feel them in here. Somebody ought to just open your mouth and just say, yes, Lord. All right. So, again, it's out of sync. So, how would you fix that? So, let me just break this down. Hopefully, this isn't going to be too technical, but I hope y'all can understand this. All right. So, if I look at their stream right now, they are broadcasting at 720p at 60 frames a second. So, when you're broadcasting at 60 frames a second, what that means is you're drawing 60 images per second. So we're not looking at video, it's like old school. It's just a picture, 60 pictures a second, that's what gives you your motion. Um, sometimes you're doing 30 frames a second, 24, 20, 29.97, 59.94, all this other stuff. That's how many images are drawn per second to give you your video. So one second, is equal to 1000 milliseconds. So if something is out of sync, so I'm just gonna roughly guess, this is probably the audio and video is out of sync between one and two seconds. So that means that is 1000 milliseconds up to 2000 milliseconds that it's behind. So that means if we do math, for 1,000 milliseconds equals 60 frames per second. So that means you're about 60 to 120 frames behind. The video is behind the audio. So how do you fix that? We talked about that. Sometimes it could be that you just need to change the settings on your computer. It might need to be that you drop your computers either not fast enough to keep up with that because audio is always easier to manage than it is video to encode um so like you can see this as well if you're in your church if you are broadcasting your stuff throughout the church and you're doing video sometimes unless you really got them whoever installed it knows what they're doing you could be like in the fellowship hall and if you have video on a TV, this is why when I install this, I don't run audio through the audio system that's there in the church. I let it run through the TV because it's going to get the audio and the video at the same time because audio is going to come faster than the video. So that's why if you have speakers like hanging in the ceiling or something like that, you can hear the audio before you see the images on the video. That's one of those things. Um, you need a lot of stuff to get that in sync so that you don't have that issue. But for example, let's cut over here to OBS. And I have my webcam right now. 
So uh, this is using as my sound that you're capturing. So inside of OBS, and I talked to him, he's actually using OBS as well. So this is another sync issue that you want to try and fix. So we're talking about a thousand milliseconds is one second. All right. Um, so we're thinking maybe uh, one to two seconds behind in that video. So if I come in here and click on the gear and you want to do this, it doesn't matter what source you have. We're going to click on advanced auto properties, audio properties, and you're going to have all your sources of audio. Right now, I only have webcam. If I was look, cutting over to my other computer um, that I'm recording with right now with OBS, you'll see multiple line ends. But inside of here, this is your sync offset and there's your MS. That's milliseconds. This is where you want to start playing with these numbers in here and you can start getting the stuff out of sync. Now, I mean, getting it back in sync. So you can't see it here because I'm on this computer and I'm recording. But if I recorded this and since I have a delay, let me record this and we're going to play this back so you can actually see what it looks like. Now, what I like to do is do a clap test where you clap and you hear the sound and then you want to try and get it in sync with when you actually physically see the clap. So we're going to try this now. Now I have a 1000 second, I mean, excuse me, 1000 millisecond offset. So now the video should actually come faster than the audio. Um, but let's try this. I'm recording right now. So here's the test. All right. So now let's go ahead and see those recordings and we're going to try and play it back and let's see what it looks like. And I should let me encode this because I don't have oh. Now what I like to do is do a clap test where you clap and you hear the sound and then you want to try and get it in sync with when you actually physically see the clap. So we're going to try this now. Now I have a 1000 second I mean, excuse me, 1,000 millisecond offset. So now the video should actually come faster than the audio. Which you're seeing. But let's try this. I'm recording right now, so here's the test. Uh, All right, so there's the example of when in reverse, what would have happened if the video was coming faster than the audio. So let's come back in here and let's fix it. So again, I don't have an issue with my computer doing this, but if you are having a situation like this, you can see by this extreme test, you can actually modify the sync offset based off of the number. So now again, if you are beyond two seconds out of sync, you need to check your hardware because um, it shouldn't get that way out of sync. Um, unless the computer or whatever gear that you're using can't keep up with that. Um, so I would safely say you're looking at adjusting between maybe a thousand, in between from zero to around 2000 um, milliseconds that you want to adjust that. So I would honestly start with a thousand. And this is what I suggested to him. Start it at a thousand, record, do the clap test, come back and see and just start playing with those numbers to try and get you back in that range. This is not changing any hardware. This is just using OBS to adjust the offset. So if your stuff was out of sync. So now that it's back at zero, if I record this again, and let's do a clap test. All right. So now let's go ahead and play this back. And let's do a clap test. All right. So perfect example and a very, very simple way for you to test if your stuff is out of sync and do frames and try and offset that for your live stream. Hopefully that helps. I know I probably have some graphics up here, hopefully to explain it a little bit better, but um, that's about it. That's the best way to do that is the clap test is just clap. Um, record yourself clapping on your live stream, do a private one, something like that. So you can see what it is to see if it's in sync. And if you're using OBS, play with that. Now I need to look into um, 
vmix and the other programs to see if they have something like that i'm sure they do but you know i don't want to don't promise me don't take my word for that because i need to investigate that myself but i know it's on obs so anyway i hope that helps so i want to thank harold shines on the for me facebook group um, that you can join us a link in the description for this for allowing me to use his video and I already talked to him about it. He's going to be doing that and hopefully that will help y'all so you can see an example of exactly what that is. So I'll be looking at his live stream next Sunday to see if that has fixed the issues for him. But anyway, I hope you like this content. If you do, I'd appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ and we'll see you on the next video. Later.